Hey hello everyone in this video we will discuss about what are dependencies in stages in azure pipeline okay this is a continuation of our previous video where we discussed about introduction to stages and how do we uh, practically use stages in devops pipeline and all we had a quick glance about it so here we will just look at another concept called dependencies in stages in general uh, a stages run in sequential order one after other right but there might be certain there might be few areas where you depend on few other uh, stages or dip, uh, jobs to be completed right in those kind of situation there is something called there's a depends on keyword which you can use in your yaml pipeline to actually make the stage wait for another stage to be completed right so let's look at an example to actually make you understand how this dependency work inside stages so let me go to the pipeline which i've been using so i'm going to click on edit so this is the script yaml script which we had in our previous video right so i'm just going to reuse this for time purpose so we have stages and we have couple of stages here one is stage called qa and another stage called prod okay in real time you know you you will not be put in a very straight forward situation okay so there might be some uh, uh, dependencies that you need to specify on for example in order for a production stage to be run you definitely need a qa stage to be completed in those kind of situation what you can generally do is you can add a dependency which means you can add a depends on keyword and you can specify the stage that needs to be completed okay as simple as that so we have given a keyword called depends on and we have given the stage called qa so what happens is it will wait for this qa stage to be completed and only then this particular stage will run okay so let me save this and run it okay this might take some time to complete so i'm just going to pass it for a few seconds and resume it once it actually completes yes now my pipeline is completed you can see both my qa and production stages now run successfully okay so this is a very simple way of uh, adding dependencies in your under stages in your yaml pipeline right so here we just added a single dependency right uh, what if we had multiple de dependencies for example say you had a different environment called pre production okay let me add a, another stage too for example let me add something called okay let me add something called pre prod okay let me call it as pre prod for now i will um, add a, let me remove this dependency too so we have jobs we have job called b1 we have steps what is the mistake i'm making okay yeah, stage should be coming here right so now i had added another stage called pre prod right so first your qa stage need to run another next is your pre production stage need to be running and finally you need production to run okay so here we had a dependence depends on keyword where we just had a single dependency alone what if we want to add multiple dependencies so what i can do is i can go i can enter i can give multiple stages here even qa and even pre prod <clears throat> okay this way you can uh, wait for multiple stages to be completed and then run your actual stage okay in this scenario i am waiting for both my qa stage pre production stage and then finally my production stage needs to be running okay now let me validate and save this I'm running this. 
again you can see we have three stages here let me wait uh, for this stage uh, these jobs to be run for now i'm just temporarily pausing this video let me resume it once this actually completes yes now you can see my pipeline ran successfully all my three stages qa pre prod and prod ran successfully one after the other okay so this is a, another way of adding multiple dependencies to your yaml pipeline all right so next uh, we'll see how to actually uh, you know uh, how does stages run in parallel when you are dependent on a sim single stage for example uh, let me go to my pipeline again now you can see this flow chart right it runs one after other first qa pre prod and prod now let's see another example where you can see in few areas a stages will run in parallel okay so for example now you have stage called qa which is fine next let me have a uh, stage called pre prod one for now okay now let me add a depends on depends on qa i need my pre production to be dependent on qa okay so for some reason we have multiple environments under pre production okay so one is pre prod one and another one is pre prod two okay so now we have two different environments pre prod one and pre prod two now you can see there are two um, environments which is actually depending on there are two stages which is actually depending on your qa stage to be completed so under pre prod 1 also you will need qa to be completed under pre prod 2 also you need qa to be completed okay so in these kind of situations both these will run in parallel actually okay so you can if you want to add few more dependencies here also you can add it or edit it for example i can add edit it to pre prod 1 and add pre prod 2 as well okay so now let me save this and run it so as soon as i start running you can see you can see something uh, some different change in my flow here okay so first we have something called qa and next we have something called pre prod 1 and pre prod 2 in the same area which states that these two are dependent on QA which is gonna run in parallel so these two are gonna run in parallel there is no point in waiting for prod 1 to complete and then run pre prod 2 right so because both are dependent on the same stage okay so the, in this situation it will run in parallel and then it will complete to and then it will come to production stage right so again this is gonna take a while for run so i'm just gonna pass it for a while uh, yes now my pipeline is completed successfully you can see a uh, couple of the stages pre prod 1 and pre prod 2 ran right away after qa is completed both these things both these stages run in parallel and finally the production stage will run successfully okay so this way you can add dependencies to your stages which might be very much useful in your real time uh, devops work uh, uh because in real time uh, you actually want uh, you actually split your work into different stages and you want you are actually dependent on few other stages to be completed so yeah this might be a really useful future and next we have something called conditions uh, which might be again very much useful what happens when a particular stage fail what happens when a particular job fails so there is a job there's a concept called condition which we will discuss in our next video yeah that's all what i want as well that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you